Well, hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Wildy Garden. And in this video, I want to talk to you about a topic and discuss a habitat that is quite a rarity nowadays in the UK and I'm sure in many other places around the world because as a species, we are becoming very, very tidy. We have an obsession with manicuring our landscapes, whether that's our back gardens, front gardens, countryside, parks, estates, whatever it is, we are obsessed with tidiness and we have to change our perspective on what the natural landscape around us should be. Because here in France, in one of my latest excursions, I've found this absolutely gorgeous fallen oak tree, which has obviously been dead for some time and it's just left. It's not tidied away, it's not cut up, it's not chipped, it's not stacked for uh, logs. It's just left as a habitat. Now, things in particular, such as lesser spotted woodpeckers will love to come and search, even the tiny little branches like these right on the edge of this fallen oak tree four insects and everything and I've just seen he's gone back inside but there was a little uh, zebra spider just came out from underneath the edge of this bark and they're an entire ecosystem in their own right because the beetles that are attracted to this attracts the other birds to come and root through things like wrens obviously um, the majority of their diet is things like spiders long-tailed tits will come through and flick through all the bark as will many other species of tits and they are just sorry slight distraction we've got Hummingbird hawk moth just down, just down there. Oh, whizzing past me. Yes, so standing deadwood and deadwood left as it falls. Now, I know there's a safety element in some cases and, you know, if it's a parkland, uh, you have to kind of question whether something like this could be left because kids start climbing all over it and breaking bits off and all the rest of it. So I get that. But what I'm saying is, you know, as a whole in the countryside, we need to be leaving these habitats because they are vital for wildlife. They, have, they house so much stuff, it's unbelievable. Too much for me to mention in this video. But the other thing I wanted to mention as well is you can see on here, the gorgeous lichens that are occurring. Now I'm not a lichen expert by any means, but the gorgeous lichens that are occurring on this dead wood because of the air quality here. Now here in the Southwest of France, you know, there's a lot of open ground and the air quality is clearly favourable for these types of lichens. There's at least three, four, maybe even five species on here, just within a few inches. So it's really, really great to see. And it again shows just how much wildlife and nature can thrive if left to its own devices. So my message for this video is to just try and get your mindset out of thinking everything has to be cut and tidied and trimmed and stacked away and yep that's brilliant because nothing does that in the natural world you know nature has its own way of tidying itself it's you know the fungi and things that live on these sort of trees eventually decay the tree down and within you know 50 years this will be completely vanished no doubt maybe a bit longer because it's oak but Nature has a way of balancing itself out is what I'm trying to say, and it doesn't need our intervention. So, you know, if you are a landowner, if you are fortunate enough to have this kind of a situation, then just, just let it be as long as it's not providing any kind of safety issues or anything like that, um, then just let it be because it really will create a very rare and um, important vital habitat for wildlife. Wherever you are around the world, it doesn't matter if you're in the UK. I know in America, when I visited a few times, the amount of standing deadwood in the back gardens in america you guys seem to have obviously a lot more storms and tornadoes and things certainly in different parts of the states which create snapped off limbs and branches and everything else but in general i've found in america there are a lot more standing deadwood trees which means there's a really brilliant population of woodpeckers in most parts of the uk so uh, most parts of the usa so yes you guys are certainly getting it right in terms of that we need to take some uh, a leaf out of your book i think but standing deadwood spread the word if you can try and encourage it as a habitat whether it's your local parks or anything else because these trees even if they're dead even if they're stood upright could still be fenced around so that people don't go near them and are likely to get a branch drop on them or anything like that so Stand in Deadwood, spread the word. It is a wonderful, wonderful habitat. Thanks very much for watching, guys. Check out the French playlist for more videos on this wonderful country and some of the flora and fauna I've seen. 
and yes i will be bringing you more videos on all the ways and you can help that you can help wildlife in videos to come thanks for watching i'll see you soon